Hello everyone, my name is Tina. Thank you so much for joining me. Now today I'm going to be making two cards, two clean and simple easy cards using this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This is the Lila's Heart stamp set and I loved it because of the two little girls. Now I have two little girls of my own and so the Valentine's Day cards we're going to make today I'm going to make for my daughters. And so we're just going to jump in and get started. Now I'm going to pull my mini Misty out here and we're going to stamp all of our images that we need for both cards on a piece of um, this cardstock here. This is uh, Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I'm going to grab the two little girls, the sentiment and two little heart balloons. The sentiment says you have the biggest heart and then for the balloons I'm stamping the polka dot one and then also the solid one. I thought it'd be fun today for my first card to make a uh, black and white card and so I wasn't sure about the black balloon but it really ended up turning out really cute. So I'm just going to ink those up with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm going to end up stamping it twice because I need that solid image to be real nice and crisp. And then once I have that done, I am going to color those in with my Copic markers. Now I'll play some music while I color in my images, just because I don't want to bore you. <laughs> and I'll leave all of the um, the marker colors that I used up on the very top in the left hand corner for you guys. And when the music's done playing, I will catch you right back. coloring is done and now I'm just going to fussy cut everything out just using my scissors there. We're going to set those aside and we're going to work with our card number one. I have a piece of black cardstock here and I'm taking a stitched rectangle die and I'm going to cut out a panel. This panel is going to be three and a half inches by four and three quarters and then I also did the same size panel using white cardstock. Now in my stash I have this die here. This is the I love you die. It's well it's called on edge love you um, die. It's from Simon Says Stamp also. And I'm going to place it at the very top and what it's going to do is cut out the the love you and then um, the top part so it'll still be connected to the bottom part of the cardstock. And I kind of like that effect and I wanted the the background on it to be black so I think this is where the black and white comes in. I think it looks really neat. So I just remove that top part and pop out the O's and there's my sentiment for my very first card. That's going to go right there. I think that's going to look great. Okay, now we're going to kind of arrange our scene. So I'm going to grab our little girl. And let's see. We're going to place her. I think she looks great right there. And then our two little balloons. Now in the stamp set, there's some little swirly balloon strings. So I'm going to grab that and just place it on an acrylic block. And then just using my VersaFine ink, I'm kind of arranging my little elements 
and then I'm going to move them out of the way and then stamp the balloon strings. I want it to look as though she's holding the balloons. Her little hands are holding or held out so I thought it'd be cute if she was holding the balloons. And then I went ahead and popped everything up with some foam tape. So I'm just going to remove the adhesive backing and then place my little elements on this card. So there we have our little scene. Now we're going to flip this over, add some foam tape behind this panel. I think the dimension against the black cardstock um, really looks nice. The, the love you just kind of pops out. So I'm going to place that on my black panel there. Her little feet are hanging over a little bit, so I had to raise that black panel up just a little bit. And then now I'm going to add some foam tape along. Oh, actually, I didn't. I just used my tape runner this time. Well, that's a shocker, Rui. Really. Usually I add foam tape on everything. But I'm just going to adhere this panel directly to my card base. This is an A2 size card base, a four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just going to place that panel in the center. Okay, I think that looks so neat. Now, of course, we need a little bit of shimmer or a little bling. So I went through my sequins and I found some real pretty red ones. And then um, I also grabbed some um, real, these are three millimeter clear sequins too. I'm going to use those as well. And using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, I'm just going to add dots where I want the sequins to be placed and then add the sequins. Now, I'll leave links below to where you guys can check out everything that I use today in case you're interested. And then um, I'm just this is where I go in with the, the the clear sequins. But basically, that is it. That's card number one. Very simple and easy, but it is so cute. I love that. Okay, now we're just gonna jump in with our second card. Another simple, simple card. So these are the the little girl and our sentiment. Now I'm using a scalloped. Um, rectangle die. This is from M MFT and I did cut out a panel with a uh, Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock. I'm taking my ink blending tool and some worn lipstick. This is Distress Oxide Ink and just going over that top portion on that panel I'm just adding a little bit of shading. And then I'm going to place my little girl in the center there. I want that little heart that she's holding to be kind of radiating so the pink I thought flowed really nice with it. So she's going to go there. Now I'm going to add some foam tape behind this panel and then we're going to directly adhere this panel to a white, a white card base. Same size, um, A2 size card base. It's a top folding. So we'll place that right in the center. Lovely. We remove the foam tape um, or the backing off the foam tape from our little girl. We popped her up as well and we're going to just place her right in the center. I wanted her shoes to hang out from the bottom just a little bit just for a little something extra. <laughs> and then I did add some foam tape on the left and right side of the sentiment and then we're going to place that on the very bottom here. Okay, now we need a little bit more bling, so I grabbed some pink sequins and then I'm going to use some pink and white. And I'm just going to go around that little pink halo that we created with the sequins just to give it a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of extra. And like I said, these were just simple, easy, clean card, little cards but I think it is so sweet. And that's it. That's my second card. So too fast and easy Valentine's Day card. I encourage you guys to check out um, the stamp set. It was so sweet. But um, I'll not only will I leave links below, but I'll leave them also on my blog. Um, and if you want to see close-up pictures, visit my blog too. I'll leave that in the description area. I wish you a fantastic day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye, guys.